Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I am Sister Keena Johnson from War Room Warriors, and we are so excited to be on the prayer wall tonight. Let me see. My lighting looks weird. I'm sorry. We are super excited to be on the prayer wall tonight and uh, partnering with the prayer wall uh, to be a part of this prayer and uh, the fasting and the intercession for our nations. Uh, we thank God of that we have been given the privilege because we consider it a privilege uh, to be partnering with the prayer wall and we want to say thank you so much Anise. we absolutely adore you lady we love you we honor you and we thank you for this opportunity um, to even partner with uh, the uh, prayer wall and we're just excited about what the Lord is doing moving ahead for our nation so again Thank you. Good evening, ladies. Thank you again for allowing us to be a part of this uh, amazing ministry. Uh, so we do want to get started with our prayer. We're praying for the nation. This is our first, I believe, I, I think I heard Anise say this morning, the first full week of um, our prayer. So this is awesome. It's exciting for me uh, to even be stretched to the degree of praying for the nation's I'm telling everybody in advance, pardon me, because I lost my glasses. So just excuse the squinting already. Anyway, y'all pray for me. But we want to get started in prayer. Um, I did write some, down some things. I know uh, we had several scriptures that we were looking at, um, mainly judges that I was looking at. And we're asking for God to rebuild the nations in righteousness. So we're asking the Lord to rebuild those foundations of the nations in righteousness and we know the place that we will start in any uh, supplication of any sort is that place of repentance. So we're definitely uh, wanting to dig in for the month of um, August and just all come together um, as a, a, a team, as a group of intercessors and just be a part of what the Lord is doing and just connecting with heaven as it uh, concerns the nations. So we want to get into prayer. I want to um, ask that we just all come together, that we all just uh, get with one accord. We basically know what our prayer points is. We know what the mission is so that when we're all praying, when we're coming together during these um, evening times, whether it be the noontime prayer or whether it be the best week ever prayer or the six o'clock in the morning prayer, then we just want to make sure that we're all coming together with one accord. We know what happened in Acts. Thank you for the compliments, y'all. We know what happened in Acts chapter 2 when everyone were with, when, was with one accord and then suddenly a sound from heaven came. And that's what we want. We want that for us. We want that for the nations. We want that for us during this time of repentance. So we want to ask God just to... And, and also God gave a promise to Abraham in Genesis. I wrote it down because I, I hadn't read that before. But uh, in Genesis... 22. I read it before, but I wasn't paying attention. Genesis 22, verse 17 and 18, when the Lord told Abraham to sacrifice Isaac, um, and he went to do it, the angel stopped him, um, and the Lord told him that he was going to bless him, and his uh, seed was going to be as the stars of the, the sky and of the sands of the sea. He also told them that his seed would take the gates of their enemy. That's one. And then in verse 18, he told them that because of his obedience, that the nations of the earth would be blessed through his seed. So that's a promise to us. So we're not praying outside of the will of God. We write in the will of God as it concerns the nations. But we do have to do our part with aligning with the word of God. We all have been out of place as a body and we need to get back in. We need to really ask God for his forgiveness and we really need to bear down and repent when I was looking at that word it's that change of mind it's the um it's us giving that whole and total everything to the Lord just yielding all over to the Lord and that's what we want to do we want to be serious about it the adversary is taking enough this is a promise that was given to us in Genesis and we want to pursue everything that God told us and if we are to bless the nations then that's what we're going to do so we want to thank God um, we want to thank you, Lord, and, and we're going to go into prayer. 
first we want to give honor to God. We want to lift him up. We want to magnify him. We want to give him glory. We want to give him honor. We want to give him what's due to him. We just want to um, ask God that we just open our hearts up and we even ask him just to cleanse our minds and and um, just cleanse our thoughts of the day of all of our work day issues, all of those things that we have that renewal of mind that he just washes us and frees us Lord, from that time at work or whatever, God, so that we can be totally given to you, Lord, so that we can hear your thoughts, Lord, so that we can hear what your heart has to say about the nations, Lord, so we can understand what it is for us to repent, how important it is for us to repent in this time. So God, we just give you the honor today. Lord, we thank you and we just give you glory. Lord, that you are a great and mighty and holy king and there's none like you in all the earth. Lord, we thank you and we honor you, Lord, because before there was any issues, God, before there were nations, Lord, before there was Israel, before there was anything, Lord, it was you and your greatness and your holiness and your your might and your power and Lord that you still maintain that Lord that there is no shadow of turning with you so God no matter what situation we're in no matter what climate we're in Lord no matter what place we're in Lord that we will give you glory and we will lift you up and we will honor you Lord because you deserve all the honor Lord you deserve all the glory God there is none like you in all the earth Lord and there is none Lord that will compare to you ever. So God, we thank you, Lord, that you will even allow us, Lord, in this time of prayer and repentance, Lord, to tap into those places of worship, God, Lord, that connect us to you, Lord, those places of worship, God, that's like a sweet savor, Lord, that our worship will go up before you, Lord, like a sweet savor in your nostril, Lord, just as you did, Lord, with Noah, God, and Lord, after the flood, Lord, when he gave his sacrifice to you, Lord, not only did it go up as a sweet savor in your nostril, but God, that you said in your heart that you would know no longer curse the ground lord so as of his because of his offering lord that you broke the curse from the ground so god we thank you that we tap into that level of worship god where we have your ear god where we have your heart lord lord where our hearts are in the alignment with yours lord that our sound sounds like heaven to you lord that we ascend to the degree god lord that we take on the smell the sin of heaven so god even in our respective places lord that when you hear us God or would you when you hear or would you smell that savor God that worship that we are offering to you Lord that it is like a sound of heaven God so we give you honor Lord we give you praise God and Lord we thank you God that you take us into the places of worship Lord that speak directly to the nations Lord Lord that place in worship God where you will hear our prayers of repentance Lord Lord that place of worship God where you you will answer God and you will remember the promise God that you gave to Abraham when you told him God as a result of his obedience Lord that the nations of the earth would be blessed God through your seed so God we thank you Lord that in this worship Lord we remind you of your promise your covenant with Abraham and Lord all that is to happen God on behalf of the nations but Lord before we do that God we ask that you forgive us Lord Lord it just as you did in in Lord, in Judges, God, it was a time, Lord, where the people were doing what they wanted to do, God, what they thought was right in their minds, Lord. And Lord, this is that time, Lord, where we are doing what pleases us, God, those things that are evil in your sight, Lord. And God, we repent for that, God. And we're asking you even, Lord, to allow your blood to cover us, Lord, that blood that you shed, God, although our actions, Lord, will cry out, Lord, that we would get what we deserve lord but your blood cried mercy lord that we're no longer under lord that curse god where abel's blood spoke out god and it wanted revenge lord that no longer are we under that curse but god that your blood says mercy so god we ask that you cover us lord lord that we stand in the gap it doesn't matter if we did it or, or if we was uh, uh, guilty of any of the things god that were displeasing to you 
But Lord, as your intercessors, we cry out. And Lord, we ask you to forgive us, God. Lord, we ask that you cleanse us, Lord, that we are a people called by your name. And Lord, that you remember the promises, Lord, that you spoke to this people. Lord, that your name is upon us, God. So Lord, that when you look at us, Lord, that you look at us laying before you, God, humble, God, and asking, Lord, for your forgiveness, God. Lord, not only asking, Lord, that you forgive us, Lord, but in the process, Lord, that our minds are changed. Lord, that we put on the mind of Christ in this season. And Lord, when I looked up that definition about the changing of a mind, it was saying that to a degree that we would even abhor or we would hate the sin that put us in that place. So God, we don't want to keep going down a, a row or, or going down this path, God, where we keep repeating or Lord, we keep going after our own passion, our own agenda, Lord, that we're going and we're doing what we think is okay in our mind. But God, that we sit down, God, and we think about, Lord, what we have done, God, those covenants, God, that we have broken, Lord, us being out of alignment, Lord, and that we consider that very thing, God, that put us, God, on the outs, Lord, that put it as a put us as an outlier, Lord, in your kingdom, God, that we just get a, just a distaste for that, Lord, that it be like a stench to our nostril, Lord, because we want to receive the promises, and God, we want to walk in the dominion, Lord, that you have given us. So, God, we want to see the sin as you see it, God, we want to see our actions, Lord, as you see them, Lord, and Lord, that we hate what you hate God and Lord that we are displeased with what you are displeased with and God that you give us that desire Lord to walk in that direction, God, of kingdom. Lord, that we will align with your principles, God. Lord, that we will align with the power of the kingdom. Lord, that we will align with the promises, God, that you spoke, God. And that, Lord, those are the things that we will go after. So, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for repentance, Lord. And, Lord, we ask that you reveal to us, God, the wisdom of repentance. Lord, that you have given us this, God, this repentance, this gift, Lord, to get back in line, to get Get back in focus, God, to get in that place of promise, Lord, to get into that place of covenant, God. And we thank you for that, Lord, when we honor you, Lord, that you have even given us, Lord, even your long suffering, Lord, Lord, where it is not your will, it is not your desire, Lord, that we suffer, God, that we turn and live, God, that's what you told in Ezekiel, Lord, that is not your desire, Lord, for people to die, but that we turn and we live. So God, we're going to declare that. That, Lord, even for this month, Lord, that we turn and we live, Lord, that our nation, America, God, will turn and it will live, Lord, that we will align, Lord, with those promises and what you said in your word and what you spoke to Abraham, God, that we will be a blessing to the nations. And Lord, it is written in your word, so shall it be on the earth, Lord, that we will be a blessing to the nations. And Lord, that you also gave him, Lord, that declaration, that promise. Lord, that, that his seed would take the enemy, Lord, that will take the gates of their enemies. So God, even now, Lord, we declare that, Lord, and we even place that. Lord, in this place of repentance, Lord, that we are asking you, God, that we recover that promise, Lord, that told us, Lord, that we will have the gates of our enemies. So, Lord, if we have the gates of our enemy and we are a blessing to the nations of the earth, then, Lord, that means we possess the gates of their enemies. So, God, we declare that even today, this day, Lord, this time, this month, God, Lord, that you have ordained that we would lay before you God and we will give you our all and God we would turn unto you God and Lord we will seek those things God that are pleasing to you Lord that we would change our minds God about that sin that separates us God and that we will get in alignment with the promises Lord that we will get in alignment with the declarations and Lord that we will hear you God and we will have access Lord to what heaven is saying so Lord we thank you today and we honor you today, Lord, for this time, Lord, for this month, for this 90 days. 
God, where we are stepping into different realms, Lord, that you have given us access to realms of worship, Lord, that you have given us access to realms of intercessory prayer, Lord, that you have given us access, Lord, to the nations, Lord, and we do not take that for granted, Lord, that we will run with it and we will continue to run with it. So God, we thank you and we honor you, Lord, that you will call, Lord, your people, Lord, those that seek after you, God, those those that come closer to you, Lord, those that are concerned with your word, God, Lord, those that are concerned with your way, Lord, that we have put our agendas to the side and Lord, that we put those things aside where we're uh, pursuing ministries. There's nothing wrong with that, but God, our pursuit should be kingdom and Lord, that we go after kingdom, <coughs> Lord, and we go after those things that please you. And Lord, that we marry ourselves to your purposes, God, and that we marry ourselves, Lord, to the purposes of prayer. And Lord, that we marry ourselves to those purposes of intercessory. And God, that we will not let go until we see your hand move mightily in the nations. And God, that this declaration in this time, Lord, in this time of prayer, God, will be etched in the heavens, God, and that there will be a continuation for generations to generations, Lord, for the pursuit of the promise, Lord, that you gave Abraham, Lord, that we will be a blessing to the nations of the earth. So God, we thank you as we join, as you join us together as one body. Lord, that you will hear us, God, that we will be heard clearly in heaven. Lord, that we will come with your word, God, that we will come with bowed down heads, God, that we will come humbly before you, Lord, in that place of repentance. God, in that place of worship, Lord, in that place of intercessory prayer, God, that we will push, God, that we will not be afraid, Lord, that we will even push past our discomfort. And Lord, we thank you that you expand our prayer territories, God. I have to admit myself, nations where I would pray when I would hear things or if something bad happened in a nation, I would be praying more of in a reactive way. But God, that you are even opening up our minds and our hearts, Lord, that you are giving us access, Lord, to this thing called intercessory and what it is. Lord, that we can be, Lord, like Jesus, who is interceding for us, God, eternally interceding for us, Lord. And we thank you for that. So God, we thank you that you even reveal to us, Lord, those ways of intercessory prayer. God, those that Jesus is even doing, God, right now, Lord, that we understand what that means. And God, that we see the seriousness of it. And Lord, that we see, God, that it is critical, God, that we take our places, Lord, before you, before your throne, Lord, at your feet, God. Lord, that we humbly submit, God, our will to you, our minds to you, our hearts to you, Lord, that we can speak those things, those mysteries, God, those things that we do not know yet, Lord, that you will reveal to us, Lord, the mysteries of your heart, God, that we will be good stewards over those things, God, that you reveal to your intercessors. Lord, we commit to you, Lord, we commit to this time, Lord, we commit to repentance and what it means. Lord, we commit to the wisdom of repentance, Lord. And we thank you that you will continue to reveal it to us, Lord. Lord, that we take of it, God, that we eat of it, Lord, that it is our daily bread. Lord, that we come before you humbly and God, that we bow before you. And Lord, that we repent. Lord, this is Nehemiah. He repented for the nation. He wasn't even there when it happened. But God, he had a heart of repentance and be outside of himself, Lord, that he's seen the purposes of the kingdom. So God, we thank you, Lord, if that means that we have to have a hammer in one hand and Lord, that we have to, we got to fight on the wall, Lord, that's what we'll do. We got to have a hammer in one hand and a sword in the other. That is what we'll do, Lord, for that work to be complete. And God, even if it takes us past 90 days, Lord, which it will, Lord, that we will continue, Lord, that we will continue, God, and we will continue to pursue your heart and those things, Lord, that are honorable to you. Lord, those things, God, that you love, God, Lord, those things that you will be happy with us, God, those are the things that we will pursue. So, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are developing 
intercessors in every one of us, Lord. And there is a uniqueness in how we pray. And Lord, that we will present that, that we won't be fearful, Lord, to get on Facebook and pray. It's uncomfortable at times. But Lord, that there is a sound that each of us have that heaven is attracted to. So God, we have a collective sound. But Lord, that there is something that you put in our hearts individually that needs to be spoken, Lord, into the earth, that needs to be amen, Lord, by the people, Lord, that we are connected with right now. So God, we stand in agreement with each other. God, we stand in agreement with what you're doing. Lord, we thank you that so for some of us who may be like right there on the edge, Lord, that we will make a decision to push past that. And Lord, that we will be heard, Lord. We will be heard and Lord, your heart will be heard through us. Lord, that you put this passion in us and Lord, it doesn't look the same. So God, that it is necessary that we are all heard. So God, we thank you and we honor you, Lord, that you have given us specific passions, Lord, that you have given us specific prayer points. And Lord, although we are all praying for repentance and we are interceding on the behalf of repentance, Lord, that you are manifesting yourself, God. In us all, Lord, that uniqueness, God, that you have given us because there's no possible way one human being can express you, God, to express the wholeness of all you are. So, God, that it takes all of us, God, it takes all of our voices, it takes all of our prayers, God, that you hear them. And, Lord, that you are showing yourself, God, and you are revealing yourself, Lord, in a unique way, Lord, through all of us, your intercessors. So, God, we thank you for this time of prayer. Lord, we thank you for this time of worship. God, we thank you, Lord, for this time of intercessory prayer. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this time of repentance. And Lord, that we continue just to go deeper and deeper and deeper in repentance. And Lord, that we really truly understand, God, what it means to repent and what you gave us in repentance. And God, that it is something that puts the kingdom right here. Repent. When you said repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It is in our reach. So anything that puts the kingdom of heaven in our reach deserves to be dug into. So God, we thank you, God, that we seek after, Lord, that word repentance. Lord, that we will not only be hearers and studiers, but God, that we will engage totally in what we learn. And Lord, as we gain access, God, and as we get that knowledge base of what this word means and how it relates to us in this moment, God, as we pray for the nations, Lord, that we will pray those things out. And Lord, that we won't just pray during these times but God when we feel your presence on us or Lord when you uh, unction us God to get in the scripture and look at that word and you begin to reveal and unfold what that means to us God that we will carry the wisdom of that word with us no matter where we go and God whatever that next prayer point or that next time or Lord whatever that next prayer uh, mission is God that we will be ready again for you to even unveil more of your Self, more of your glory, more of your beauty, more of all that you have for us, God, to speak and to do on this in this earth, God, during this time. So, Lord, we thank you and we ask, Lord, that you hear our prayer today, Lord, that you hear our supplication, Lord, that us standing in the gap and not only standing, I remember. Um, Anise said this, that we're not just standing in the gap, but we are building while we're standing in the gap. So God, that you even teach us that prayer is, there's nothing passive about prayer. There's nothing passive about intercessory prayer. Lord, there, there is nothing passive about holding the sword in one hand and holding a hammer in the other. So God, that we understand that there is warfare included in that. And Lord, that we are to take back God, Lord, that we are to retrieve, Lord. Lord, that we are to possess God, that we are to take God what you have given us, Lord. So Lord, we thank you that you also show us that there is nothing passive about prayer and there's nothing passive, Lord, about us going in for the nation. If he said, if Lord, you promised Abraham that you would give him, that you would give his seed the power to take the gates from the enemy, there's nothing passive about that. 
So God, that we go forward in that promise that you gave us, that we will take the gates of our enemy. It says his enemy. So God, that we all have an enemy and Lord, that we will possess those gates, Lord. And we thank you for that. So God, we thank you that we grab the horns of the altar and Lord, that we will continue to press Lord into you, just like the woman with the issue of blood, Lord, until we are pulling virtue from you, God, Lord, the virtue that the nations need to survive, Lord, the virtue that, uh, that you promised, Lord, the nations that their blessing would be in. So God, that we will get in the press and we will not be afraid. And Lord, that we will have that level of despair, Lord, that it doesn't matter, God, that as long as we touch that hymn, God, that that is what we're looking for, Lord, because we do have an issue. Our nation has an issue, God, and we need your presence, Lord. And if that means we have to lay before you, God, then that is what we'll do. Lord, if that means that we worship you, God, then that is what we'll do. So Lord, we honor you tonight. We give you glory tonight. And Lord, that we ask you again, Lord, to hear our prayer. And Lord, that we lay before you humbly. Lord, that we give our hearts to you. Lord, those places where we decided we was going to do our own thing and it didn't matter. And Lord, that we thought that what we were doing, it didn't matter what we thought. We just did what we wanted to do. So God, we, we ask you even now those places, those prideful places, God, that we have operated in. Lord, that, that altar of pride is destroyed. Lord, that it is beat down, God, like the dust of the ground. And Lord, that it is burned up Jesus and Lord that anything prideful inside of us God that it is also burned up Lord we thank you that you fill us up with your spirit Lord that you measure us God and where we are found wanting God that you fill us up Lord Lord we thank you God and we honor you Lord for putting us on the path Lord of righteousness Lord we thank you Lord that we are embarking on the increasing Lord or we get to see we're not embarking but God we get to see with our eyes Lord the increase of your kingdom Lord that increasing of your kingdom and peace and Lord, that we get to see, Lord, that the throne of David, God, that throne, Lord, that is built in righteousness, Lord, and justice and judgment, Lord, that it is being built before our eyes. So, God, we thank you, God, that we will keep our eyes on you, Lord. We will keep our eyes on what you're doing, God, and what you do, we do. What you say, we say, God. We thank you, Lord, that we hear your heartbeat, Lord, concerning this time. And we glorify you, Lord, for even bringing us together, Lord, as a group, Lord, that we will pray, Lord, Lord, we will seek you, we will repent, Lord, whatever it is necessary, Lord, we will do it. So, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that our hearts will turn to you and Lord, that our actions will show a heart that is turned to you. And Lord, that this is for the nations, but God, the manifestation, the manifestation of our hearts turn to you, Lord, will be in our workplaces. It will be in our households. God, it will be in our neighborhoods. Lord, that this will start now. It's not, it, it, this, the turning of the nation is starting now, but God, it's starting in us and it's starting in the changes that are taking place in us. So Lord, we don't look at anything like it's small. Nothing is small. Lord, that we are repenting. We got things to repent about too. And Lord, that we have things that our mind needs to change about too. So God, we honor and we thank you for all aspects of repentance. Lord, for us as a personal, as a person, Lord, for us as a group and for us as a nation. So God, thank you. And we praise you. And we are looking forward, Lord, to what you are doing. We are excited, God, to watch you move as you brood over these places, God. And your life springs forth, God. We thank you, Lord, for the revival, God, that is taking place. Lord, that we are waiting with bated breath, God. And we are excited, Lord, to see what you are doing, God, even in our nation. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that your promises are coming to fruition. And Lord, that our eyes get to see it, Lord. It's not that we need to see it to believe it. But God, it is just a marvelous thing, Lord, to see your hand, God. And we appreciate that. 
Lord, we love you. We honor you. We bless you and we glorify you, Lord, for this time of prayer. Lord, we thank you for this partnership. Lord, we thank you for a niece, God, as you have given her the vision, Lord, to move forward, God, on the behalf of the nations. Lord, we thank you that you continue to strengthen her, God. Lord, that the oil continues to flow from her, God. And Lord, that she continues to ascend, God. And Lord, that you continue to fill her mind and her thoughts and her mouth, God. Lord, with even more of your presence, Lord. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you take her even further, Lord. And Lord, we honor you, Lord, for the strength, Lord, that you have given her, Lord, for this, God, for this time, God, for this season. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that there are blessings, Lord, that are on her household, God, her children. And Lord, all the prayers, God, that she has prayed on the behalf of her children, Lord, that she will see them, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that you cover them and you keep them and you protect them. And God, we thank you for the increase of creativity over her, God, over her businesses, Lord, that they start to even more. Lord, we thank you for the acceleration, Lord, of her businesses in the marketplace, God. And we thank you, Lord, that that spirit of Daniel, that excellence, God, be upon her. And Lord, that many people will see, Lord, your greatness and your might and your power, Lord, in her excellence, God. Lord, in that place of her business, God, and her understanding and that acumen, God. Lord, that you will show your mighty hand, Lord, just as you did to uh, Nebuchadnezzar with Daniel. Lord, be that unto her, God. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you for this partnership, God, that you put together for this time. Lord. And Lord, we thank you, God, that all things, God, that heaven has intended for this, Lord, will happen, Lord. And we speak even now, Lord, to those, Lord, that are still in those places, God, of prayer, Lord, where there may be some timidity, God, Lord, that they will come forth, Lord, and Lord, that that intercessor, Lord, will be birthed out of them, God, in this environment, God, in this partnership, God, Lord, we thank you, God, that you are birthing, Lord, things, God, even now, Lord, amongst us, and we honor you for that, Lord, we are excited about what's to come, and Lord, we thank you for the rest of our best weeks, uh, uh, best weeks ever, God, and we thank you for all the other prayer times, and and Lord, we thank you that you brood over those times, God. And Lord, that your spirit is uh, uh, understood and heard, God, during those times. And Lord, we thank you that you bless those, God, that will be praying, God, that you give them articulation of speech, God, that you give them clarity of mind. And even if we stumble over some words, it's okay, God. So Lord, we thank you and we honor you, Lord, that we come forth, God, that we ascend, God. And Lord, that we be filled with the smoke of your glory, Jesus. And Lord, that as we ascend, God, that we bring it down. And Lord, that same glory, God, will be in our workplaces. God, that same glory will be in our homes. Lord, that same glory, Lord, will be with our children, our families, God. And we thank you for that. Lord, we thank you for this time, Lord, of prayer of intercession. Lord, we will not take anything that you are doing right now in this season for granted. Lord, give us an ear to hear what you are saying. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we will discern the times, God. And Lord, we thank you that the seasons that are upon us, Lord, that you will continue to reveal. And Lord, that we will pursue them in obedience, God. We declare that even for us now, obedience, God, that we will obey. Lord, it is our desire to obey and we will do so. God, we give you glory. We give you honor and we give you praise in your precious, in Jesus' precious holy name we do pray. Amen. Amen, ladies. So good night. I think we'll be praying again tomorrow afternoon. So we'll be excited to continue on. Thank you again, Denise, for this opportunity. We appreciate you. Everybody have a good night. Love you all.